Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I really like this saw, but the one thing I've been meaning to do since I got it is make a zero insert plate for it. So I thought it's about time I get it done. I've got this bit of oak that's just big enough, but first I need to plane down one surface and one edge, and then I can rip it down to just slightly wider than what I need. Normally I'd run this through the thicknesser to bring it down to the size I wanted, but this bit of wood is just a little too small for that, so I'm going to resaw it on the larger table saw. This is where a larger band saw would come in handy, but I just make a series of cuts, raising the blade a little each time until I'm all the way through. I use the existing plate as a template and draw around it so I can just remove most of the waste. I take it to the bandsaw and get most of it cut away, going just shy of my line. Now I need to bring it down to its final size. I get some double sided tape on the existing insert. I can then get it stuck down to the piece of wood. I'm going to use the router to remove the rest of the material and I'm going to use this bearing guided bit, the same one I used to make the router table. As per normal, links down below to this. So that bearing is going to run along the aluminium insert and I can use that as a template. And this should leave me with an oak insert that is exactly the same size as the previous one. I need to cut a slot in it for the blade and the riving knife. I get the fence brought up to the side of the existing insert plate. Then I can feed the new one through the blade until it reaches the end of the old plate. Because I've cut all the way through at one end, it's got a bit of flex to it, and I don't really want that. So I'm just going to shave down a little scrap of wood until it perfectly fits the curve of the blade. I can then get a little bit of that trimmed down and glued into the end of that slot. When the glue's had a chance to dry, I can then use a chisel to trim off the excess and then I give it all a sand down. The old insert, the slot was wide enough to get my finger in to be able to lift it up. This though, I'm gonna need a little finger pull, so I just drill a hole through it. I want to fit this level with the cast iron top, so I'm just gonna put some double-sided tape on a couple of strips of aluminium and stick this on. It doesn't have to be aluminium, Anything straight would do, but the tape peels nicely off this. I'm now going to apply some of Rag and Bone Brown's wax to the saw, because I don't want some hot glue that I'm now going to apply to actually stick to it. I get a few blobs all the way around on the shelf, and then I can get that insert put into place. I push it down until those aluminium bars are flat with the table, and that should mean that the insert is perfectly flush with the top. The glue dries pretty quickly, then I can take it off and it's stuck to the wood but nothing stuck to the saw. It's not very pretty, but it means it's perfectly level. As I had the wax out, I used that to finish the insert and it should help pieces glide nicely over it. That's it all done. Now I can make some thin ribs without the pieces getting sucked down into the body of the saw. And when I need to tilt the blade, I just need to swap back to the old insert. This is definitely going to make life easier and make the operation of the saw a bit safer. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. And please subscribe for more videos.